The invisible raglan increase is one of my favorite stitches. I use it when working top-down raglan sleeve sweaters quite frequently. It is my most popular. And one of the things I love about it is that the seam itself is almost invisible. So in this case, you see how the stockinette meets along the raglan seam here in the middle with the double mirrored increases on each side. But the other beauty of this stitch is that when working in pattern, the pattern will match perfectly. And here's how it's done. Work across your row of stitches until you come to the first marker that is flanking the raglan stitch. And when you get there, do not move the marker. Instead, take your right needle, insert it under the right leg of the lower stitch, pick it up on the left needle, and knit that stitch. Now slip the marker. Now we're going to knit into the back of the raglan stitch. And this is important. It helps to close the possibility of any gap between the two increases. Next, we slip the second marker. And let's look and see what we have. Here is the stitch below that we worked on first when we created the first increase. Here is the stitch that is twisted into which we created the new raglan stitch. So what we want to do is put the tip of the left needle under the left leg of the same stitch that we worked for the first increase. Then we're going to knit one stitch. Now we're ready to move on. Now I'll demonstrate this stitch once again. You work your row until you come to the first marker flanking the raglan stitch, but do not slip the marker. Instead, insert the tip of your right needle under the right leg of the stitch below, put it on the left needle, and knit that stitch. Now slip the marker. Knit into the back of the raglan stitch. Slip the second marker. Now you're going to put the tip of the left needle into the second stitch below. The first one is the one that is wrapping the twisted stitch, the uh, raglan, the twisted stitch that we've just created. And the one below that is the one that we knit into when we created the first stitch. So you see it looks kind of like a triangle with a little X in the middle. So knit into that stitch and continue. Now let's take a look at what we've created. Here is the raglan seam running down the middle and on each side are the increases. And every stitch consists of a little V at the bottom, an increased stitch on the right, an increased stitch on the left, and in the middle, a little X that is the twisted raglan stitch, which is what helps keep this seam nice and tidy and closed and contributes to the fact that it's almost invisible. So once again, there's a little V at the bottom, an increase on each, right, on each side, and a twisted raglan stitch right in the middle. So I hope you'll come and visit my website and see all the designer patterns that I've created and you'll discover some of the projects in which this sti stitch has been included. So next I'd like to show you a few of those. And while you're on my website, I hope you'll sign up for my ongoing newsletter. It's called James Knit Notes. And every time it goes out, you'll discover what's new. You'll be aware of any promotions that I might be having. And I also share some knitting tips. So thanks for watching. I'm James Cox. I can't stop knitting.